What's good everybody and welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw and color fire. Now for this video I'm going to show you how to draw fire and when I color it I'm just going to freelance it. And to color it I'll be using some Copic markers. The markers you'll need for this video are YR09, YR07, YR68, YR16, Y38, and Y35. So those are the colors you're going to need for this video and like I said I'm going to start off showing you guys how to draw fire. And then we're going to go to color it. So let's get started. Okay, so first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sort of like a teardrop shape. Like a curved teardrop. Something like that. Okay, and then we can also make this teardrop a bit longer. So I'm going to make another curve to it. Just adding on to the shape. That way it looks like a tadpole swimming down. Now I'm going to add flames on both sides of this uh, teardrop shape. I'm going to make this one a bit longer. Because we want it to be asymmetrical. Like we don't want this picture to be the same on both sides of this line. Okay, now we're going to go back to the bottom of here, and then we're going to add smaller flames on the outermost parts of it. Like right here is good. Okay, now we're going to erase these guidelines, or at least some of them. And that way you should end up with something that looks like this. But you can always fix it. Like the flames doesn't look its best right now, so that's why you can always fix it. So like here's our initial teardrop shape or whatever. I'm going to add like a little curve to this area so that way when the flame comes down it just curves back up to make this one. So let's fix that. And then we can make this one a bit longer as well. Okay and you should end up with something that looks like this. Hold on let me zoom out real quick. Alright, and now we're going to draw small flames lifting up from the tips of these flames, if that makes sense. So I'm going to add sort of like a, like an eye shape, like a realistic eye shape right above here. And I'm going to add a smaller one over here. And maybe like a large one over here since this is small. Maybe one over here as well. Or is that too much? Nah, that works. Okay, yeah, and then we got our fire. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a few circles on these flames. Because without them, it just looks plain. Very plain. So I'm going to add some circles to some parts of the flames. And when you're doing this, you can make the circles a different size. Like this one is this size. And I'm going to make a smaller one down here. And like a super tall one over here. And a circle over here as well. Okay, and then on the flames that we just drew that's inside of these circles, we're going to erase them. And I'm just fixing up a few things over here. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. And that's how you draw a fire. Now let me bring out my Copic markers so I can show you guys how to color it. Okay, so for this part of the video, you can choose to use your guidelines to help you color the fire. But again, we're going to freelance it so you probably won't have to. Because there's a million ways that fire can look. It doesn't have a definite shape unless you, the artist, want it to. So first I'm going to start off by making like the outline of the fire. And that's what I'm going to do with YR09. So I'm going to take my flames. Just make the outline of the fire. 
but only on the top part because this is the most reddest area. Okay, and then we're gonna stop here. Right here where the base is, we're not gonna add some red there. So I'm just gonna leave that how it is and just um, kind of thicken these red lines. Get those thickened up and everything. Okay, and now we're gonna switch to our YR07. And then we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. And when you're applying the YR07, you can add a little bit more color to the base to help like set the stone for the base when you go to add some more colors to it. Okay, and now I'm gonna go for my YR68. And I'm actually gonna use this to help blend the two colors together. They are in the same Copic color family, but sometimes it's gonna go with the orange and light and try to smoothen out that blending. I'm also gonna semi thicken these orange lines, or at least some of them. So yeah, we're getting some good blending going, so we're almost there. Now I'm going to take my YR16 and pretty much do the same thing like we did last time. Just add like another layer of lines to the fire and while also blending it. And then we got a little bit of yellow going on here. Like a golden yellow. And then with this yellow, you can complete the base of the fire. So that way it has sort of a floor or a ground, whatever you want to call it. It has a base. Okay, now we're going to take our Y38. I'm going to blend this small part in here. I'm going to add another layer. Okay, and now for our last color, which is Y35, and we're just going to color that in and blend. Okay, so we got our fire. Now we're going to do what we did in the beginning and add some flames up here. So this we can really use two colors for. So I'm going to take my YR09 and just draw in the shapes for it. And it's a good thing it's a brush tip because I want these to kind of taper, if you know what I'm saying. You see how it's pointy at the end here? That's what taper means. And then maybe a small one here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my YR07. Maybe get some blending going. So that's two colors. And then I'm going to use my Y38. And there, we got our fire. And as you recall from earlier in the video, I did add some circles to each flame to make it look more like fire. But you're probably thinking, how are we going to do that when it's already colored in? But since fire has bright and warm colors or whatever, what we can do is give it a dark colored background, which is where a black marker comes into play. Now, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but you can really use a Sharpie for this if you got a Sharpie. But to add this black background, I'm going to use one of my Ahuhu markers. It's also a good thing that you can add a background, so in case these lines don't taper up here, you can always fix that with the black marker.
Okay, so now that we got the background and everything drawn, we can go ahead and add the circles to the flames. That's pretty much all that's left. But in order to do that, since it's already colored, we'd have to use the black. So from here on out, we'll be using a black marker. But you can choose to freelance it, or if you want to rely heavily on your guidelines, that's totally up to you. Alright, and once you're done adding the circles, you're pretty much done. That's how you draw and color fire with markers. So if you liked the video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.